So how can we convert a fraction into a decimal? A simple way to achieve this is to use long division. We're going to put the 4 on the outside and the 3 on the inside. The numerator goes on the inside. Now 4 does it go into 3, so we're going to have to add a decimal point and a 0. We're going to treat 3.0 as if it's 30. And if you add a decimal point on the inside, we need to add one on top. Now how many times does 4 go into 30? Well, we know that 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32. That's too much. It's greater than 30. So 4 goes into 30 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28. So 30 minus 28 is 2. Next, add a 0 and bring it down. Now how many times does 4 go into 20? 4 goes into 25 times. 4 times 5 is 20, and there's no remainder. Whenever you get a remainder of 0, that's it. You can stop. This is the exact answer. So 3 over 4 is basically 0.75. And that's a simple technique in which you can use to convert a fraction into a decimal. Let's try some other examples. Convert 2 over 5 into a decimal. So this is going to be a 5 on the outside, a 2 on the inside. Let's add a 0. So we're going to treat 2.0 as if it's 20. 5 goes into 24 times. 20 minus 20 is 0, and that's it. 2 over 5 is equivalent to 0.4. Try this one. 19 over 3. By the way, for each of these examples, if you wish to try it, make sure to pause the video. And then after you try it, after you have your solution, unpause it and see if it matches with the solution that you're going to see here. So let's divide 19 by 3. So let's put the numerator on the inside. Now 3 goes into 19 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18, with a remainder of 1. Now what we need to do is add a decimal point and a 0. So let's add a decimal point here. And we're going to bring down a 0. So how many times does 3 go into 10? 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, and the remainder is 1. So let's add another 0. And we have a 10 again. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, and the remainder is 1. Notice that the remainder repeats. Once you see that, ha um, once you see that happening, it's just going to keep on going. So basically, this is 6.333333, and it goes on forever, which you can write as 6.3 repeating. And so here's the answer for this problem. What about a mixed number? How can we convert this into a decimal? Well, it helps to understand that this is equivalent to 3 plus 4 over 5. Let's ignore the 3 for now. Convert 4 over 5 into a decimal. And let's do that using long division. So 5 doesn't go into 4, so let's add a 0. 5 goes into 48 times with a remainder of 0. So therefore, 4 over 5 is equivalent to 0 0.8. So 3 and 4 fifths, which is 3 plus 4 over 5, that's 3 plus 0.8, and so this is equal to 3.8. So now you know how to convert a mixed number into a decimal.